Welcome back, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me to another episode of Music with Nick. So today we got a new marathon for Narvik, and this is going to be an awesome one. This is going to be basically a, a, a Dio uh, marathon. And um, uh, he sent me an email, and it's a particular order. It says Ronnie James Dio Chronicles Marathon Part 1. So we're getting a second part. We don't know when, but we will, because I know Narvik. Um, and he wanted some in a particular order. And he said, don't change the order, because this goes from uh, basically 2009 back to 1987. And then from there on, he'll do another one. Um, but uh, let me just um, give you the tracks, and then we'll know what we'll, we'll do. So we're going to start with Black Sabbath. Um, this is Shadow of the Wind. And this is from the Dio years. Uh, Dio, Dio. I always say Dio sometimes. Dio. This is from the Dio years. Um, so 2009. Um, give, me, give me a second. Aha, Shadow of the Wind, exactly. From Heaven and Hell, 2009. Then, 2000. Now, this is from the band Dio. As long as you, as long as it's not about love. And then we go back to 1992, Black Sabbath, the song Too Late. And then we're going to do 1987, Dio, Naked in the Rain. So we're going to do all those in that order. And, uh... Well, let's see what happens. Thank you so much, Narvik, for this request. Um, we've gotten some amazing Black Sabbath marathons. We've gotten Rainbow marathons. We've gotten so much good in uh, Thin Lizzy marathons. Check out all those marathons. Um, you know, RG, Narvik, Greybeard, um, Lee. Um, a lot of people. Uh, also, uh, there was this other marathon that was wonderful. Um from Tao, um, and also, man, there's so many good marathons. Just type in Nick and Lex Marathon, and you will see all the marathons, so don't miss them. And then also, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. You know, it does help out the channel. And if you would like to request one of these marathons yourself, if you have an idea of a marathon or a song, in, check in the description under Buy Me A Coffee. And you can request one of these. They're about 40, 45 minutes long after I'm I'm done. I mean, it says 25 minutes, but I always, you know, do them longer. It would be just, it would suck to just like sit here and listen to the music and not say anything substantial, you know. Um, so I also have the guitar. If I hear something cool, I'll try to play it out. Sometimes I don't. It really depends on the mood, you know, or uh, if it's really like super... I don't know. I just improvise all this, you know. So as you if you're new to the channel, you'll see. If you already know the channel, you know how it goes. This is not anything pre-recorded. We don't we never cut. If I mess up, that's what you'll get. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you, Norvik, for this marathon. Let's get into it. We're gonna get into uh Shadow of the Wind. And here we go. Thank you so much. Begin. 
Okay, so yeah, I mean, Ronnie James, uh, Dio, what a trip. Uh, but I just want you to, like, let me know what you thought when you finally heard Black Sabbath without Ozzy. Like, was that a shock to you? For me, it's completely normal because I haven't heard Black Sabbath for 10, 20 years with Ozzy and suddenly they switch, you know? So for me, it's totally cool. But was it like... Did it bother you? Were you accepting of Dio and the band? Um, just let me know. I mean, I don't know if, 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 I mean, it's insane how much Bruce Dickinson sounds like Dio. It's insane. Um, but um, I would be totally shocked if I, I mean, I've been listening to Maiden for the majority of my life now uh, since I was like, 16 years old if they suddenly would change vocalists and like replace bruce i mean they did it already once in the 90s uh and i didn't like it at all i mean i do love blaze bailey don't get me wrong he's a great singer but he didn't fit in maiden too much i mean maybe yeah the sign of a cross uh that that album the x factor is pretty good but overall for maiden it doesn't work so but if they would suddenly like replace him with like Rob Halford, you know, ridiculous, famous because Dio and, um, and Ozzy are like on the same level, you know? So was that shocking? Because it would be shocking if they would just replace Bruce Dickinson with Rob Halford. I mean, okay. So just let me know what you think. Uh, let's continue. Sorry about interrupting, but it's just stuff that I think about, you know, awesome, heavy sounds demonic as hell. I just love that. Tom Tommy Omi just like comes up with the most evil riffs. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> that Tommy Iommi because if it was holy shit uh it just sounded very like I don't know it just sounded very different I mean of course there's a much more distorted guitar with a lot more effects but I don't know I don't know if it was his style like his style is more like I mean, I've only heard early Sabbath, you know, so I've never heard a 2009 Tomiyami. If it was him, holy cro Cropoli. <laughs> if it wasn't him, let me know.
Okay, so now I'm going to try just, I've heard it the first time, but it sounded like, oh God, he was too low. I can't even play this. It's too low. It's like, boom. but if we play it here, doing this <laughs> and yesterday I learned this Alexia, have you heard this before? Like... She's like, no, but it sounds evil as hell. And I was like, yes, exactly. That's what it's... That's the intention. <laughs> it's just like, I, I know that Tommy Iommi is like the nicest guy on earth, but he knows how to write dark music. And I love it. And it, that's what it's all about, man. You know, you have to be creative. And, 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 and it's so... It's so sad that in the 80s and even in the 90s, people were like, oh, it's satanic, oh, you know, and they, they didn't even know it because a lot of people, if they don't know what it is, they, they think it's evil. You know, that's the problem with the world. Okay, so now we're going to go as long as it's not about love. This is a Dio. Um, I always want to say Dio. It's so bad if I say Dio, please, please forgive me. But it's just the German person in me i guess uh so it's dio 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 um as long as it's not about love this is from the album magica okay one second okay so narvik didn't specify but he sent me the link but here we go Exclamation. What is love? Who is love? When is love? Yeah, Where that, is love? that would be creepy to ask a robot. Why is love? <sighs> okay. We need that guitar over there and play that.
man. My man, that singing is so good. I mean, every time like he sings, it's so dramatic. I love it. And this this riff here was like I I don't remember it really because I've just heard it, but it's like this, like this. just sounded really like just very melodic and very like oh, very dramatic and I love the whole like I mean that the in, the intro was just like like that typical like power ballad wonderful like the way he sung it just amazing man uh just inspiring to pick up the guitar and learn you know um everything it's so good it's so well composed um everything the solo on this one was just freaking amazing uh man what a band uh, i mean what a singer because this is more about him this is about dio um and his vocals and the power like w he had such power and the like i say i repeat this dramatic he was a dramatic singer he was like more operatic you know like bruce um just that you know he could like man what a talent i i really like okay so news we got in touch with um with uh oh my god what's his name um feinstein and uh with a guitar player from elf and he already accepted he he did accept alexia he has not accepted me so and i i'm not even surprised but um he is in this group um that we're in uh so I th and so he hasn't gotten our message because we would like to interview him, you know, um, and uh, I, maybe he doesn't even remember me when we met in the gallery in Puerto Vallarta. But I would like to have him on the show, interview him about Elf and Dio. His, their, he's he's Dio's cousins, a uh, cousin. So wouldn't that be awesome to have him? Um, so yeah. So I've talked about that before, but I just wanted to give you a little update. So. He already did accept Alexia. Now she now she wrote to him. Now it's all about time. It's all about if he will read it and then say yes, yeah, sure. You know, if he has the time, of course. But yeah, that would be cool to have him, uh, David Feinstein from Elf, um, on the channel. Okay, so now we're gonna do uh, too late. Now again, Black Sabbath. Going back to Black Sabbath, and this is from. Give me one second. 1992. Here we go. Okay, some Pink Floyd vibes here, right off the bat. Again, the power ballad intro. It's just beautiful to play this. Too late for tears, too late 
quick thing okay guys so if you're a fan of dio man you have to listen and i'm i'm sure narvik knows this uh but just all the like you know folks that if you love dio um listen to symphony x man literally this guy russell um god damn it uh russell russell give me one second okay doesn't matter. His name is Russell, uh, um, vocalist of Symphony X. He literally sounds exactly the same as him. I mean, I'm sure it's his biggest inspiration. They dr play amazingly well, progressive metal, not too much, not too over the top, maybe a little bit more metal than Dream Theater, but very interesting. Great solos, great piano. It's like Rainbow... Um, literally or deep purple like on steroids like literally that that's that's the only way i can define symphony x but but it's nice you know it's not exhausting it's just good music they have some amazing orchestral sections i should make a, a symphony x marathon for you guys because just to get it out there um we've done some symphony x on the channel maybe not enough but there's like a 45 minutes epic song. Maybe I should just do that for you guys. I mean, I've heard it all before. I've heard everything by Symphony X. That's why I don't react to Symphony X. I only react to Symphony X with Alexia. She's the reactor. Uh, but that would be cool. But it reminds me so much of him. So check out Symphony X. He's the vocalist. <laughs>
It's awesome how they always finish very strong, very like amazing. But this this marathon, I, I know Narvik wanted to focus more on the vo on the vocals, so I'm not gonna pull out the guitar. I wanted to try the do 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 bam do 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 bam because they always leave these monster licks to the end to, uh, to until the end to, uh, of the song, but I won't wanna like take too much time away playing guitar. I can do that in my my spare time. This guy this time is for you guys and for Narvik who requested this. So we're gonna end this one with. Dio, Naked in the Rain. This is from Dream Evil. Um, let's see here. And we said it was 87. Exactly. All right. So this is the last one. I've been having a blast so far. And I'm really more than anything focusing on the vocals here. Um, not so much on the music. I mean, it's just about the vocalist. I mean, of course, I'm focusing on the music as well. But... I'm trying to just more focus on the singing and overall of him being the vocalist that he is. This is a tribute to him. Okay, so too late. This is again with Black Sabbath. Okay, one, two, and...
Wow. So there we have it. Uh, we have the four songs of, uh, that Norby requested. What a great singer. I mean, it's just amazing the power and the vocal range. I mean, he's not a falsetto singer, for example, but he has that, you know, that attitude and that beautiful, just the intention is always very present. When he sings, it's like, you feel the power, you know, it's very legit metal. It's just like the, even the way he pronunciates words or just like stops, like, for example, like when James Hetfield does the, you know, like he's like, yeah, you know, that's very James Hetfield. Now he does very like, I don't know the way he just like uses the, his voice as a instrument. Like naked, like naked in the rain. Ah. You know, I mean, I can't sing f for like, for shit, but just like I, the way he just uses his vocals is amazing. And, um, and it's just unique. I mean, there's nobody like him. I'm sure, I mean, many consider him the best metal vocalist. Uh, you know, out there. I mean, he already passed away. But I mean, for me, he like, he just sounds so metal. He sounds like, I mean, Ozzy is a good singer, but it's not very like, Ozzy's music is great. But as a singer, he's not like too, he has a very specific nasally voice. Um, Ozzy, he has more like an operatic voice. He's very operatic, very dramatic, very like, Ugh! you know that, that and he has just a very great vocal range and he's just awesome he just sounds really good to the ear his voice has a very nice tone and is just made for metal you know it's just like custom designed his vocals were made to be a me metal vocalist and i mean there's an other greats like Bruce Dickinson, like I mentioned, um, Rob Halford, and they all have their traits. Like Bruce is very, he can go very high, and uh, but he does not sound as good as uh, as as Dio. He just sounds like like Bruce, also very unique. Or even Rob Halford he can go very very high, has a very distinctive voice. But I mean, I guess. Then we have like James Hetfield or like Dave Mustaine. Dave Mustaine sings very, very poorly. I think it's very like, like that. And I don't really enjoy when he sings. I enjoy more the music, but it fits to the music. You know, it's just his style. Uh, but I don't think he's a good singer. James, on the other hand, it just fits, you know, with the style. He sounds more like a country singer sometimes, like in the later stuff. Uh, but it does fit like... In Master of Puppets, it sounded really cool, Justice for All. But I guess he just kept every, throughout its entire career, he kept the same style and it just works. You know, it just works and it sounds badass. And may he rest in peace. He's just a badass. He was a badass guy. And, I, and no wonder that he would go from band to band, you know, be in all these bands, Elf, and then his own band, a Dio and Black Sabbath and who who knows what else. I I once heard a cover by Ingwe Malmsteen the way they do um, Dream On by Aerosmith and he killed it. He killed it. You know, so that would be kind of like a cool song to react to with Alexia because I already heard it. But this guy was just a master in vocals and just like the th three the th uh. Oh, man, it's like a tongue twister. The theatricality of it all, you know? He just sounds very theatrical, very dramatic, just amazing. And he's just, he was one of the greats, you know, when it comes to metal and metal singing. I'm sure if you ask any one of these guys that I mentioned, they would point back to him and say, yeah, I was inspired by Dio. So there you go. Uh, I just love his music. I love his style. And uh, I can't wait for the second part. Um, and who knows, maybe I'll get the guitar back out again. If you, if you, of course, enjoy that, let me know. If that's bothering you, then uh, 
I don't know. I'm, I might still do it. You know, it's my channel after all. <laughs> I mean, but, uh, you know, it's all about entertaining you guys, you know. But, uh, but just because one person is like, oh, I don't like it. Maybe a hundred persons do, a hundred persons do like it. Maybe I should do a poll. But, um, but, but thank you so much, Norvik. This was very interesting. Very, I love that every song had a different style, you know. I mean, metal is metal. I mean, they had, of course, you know, the small, the slow intros, and then they crescendo up and, they all ended with a bang though the last one was the most of course the most 80s sound the dun 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 dun, 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 dun. the gallopy one but uh, i also loved i loved everyone for what they are they all were perfect nothing was kind of boring or anything um they were all really cool in their own right so thank you so much um let me know what you think in the comments which one that you like the best which era of Dio, do you prefer? Do you like his 80s stuff more, the 90s stuff, the 2000s stuff? Let me know in the sec in the comment section, and um, uh, let me know if you would like to see a second part. And uh, all right, thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.